is be here today in this closing ceremony, and I would like to dedicate a few words to all of you. Uh, so first of all, I would like to thank to this beautiful country, Canada, and to this extraordinary university, UNAM, for receiving us and for giving us the opportunity to learn a little more about their culture and their people, and for the great hospitality that they have shown to all of us. UNAM is by far the best university in Mexico, and I felt very happy when I knew that they were opening its doors here in Canada to foreign students like us, who were searching for new opportunities to grow and succeed in our own country or in any part of the world. We came here to practice our communication skills in a foreign language, right? Either English or French, but three weeks later, we have not just accomplished that, but a very fast learning as to what Canada really is for me, a role model country. It has been ranked as number one in quality of life. And I think that during these three weeks, we have been able to see why. And most of it is because of its habitats that represent a very varied cultural diversity who are always willing to help others and to work together to achieve common welfare rather than one's own. And people recognize around the world for being, at the same time, reliable and kind. When I was a child, I dreamed about visiting other countries and knowing new people and cultures. And today, some years later, that dream has come true thanks to this glorious university that is on now. This wonderful college has given me the tools to develop a successful career, not only within Mexico, but also abroad. UNAM is, according to the QS World University Rankings 2018, one of the 20 best universities around the globe, and it's in the top five in Latin America. So it was a privilege for me and for most of us in this room to be part of this major house of studies, or Maxima Casa de Estudios, as we call it in Mexico. So I will strongly encourage you as students or former students to keep working hard to pay a little bit of all what Mexico and UNAM have given to us. We need to build a better country, not only for us, but for our children. And this incredible university is giving us the means to achieve that objective. These days in Canada have taught me that a good education system can make that dream come true. come true. So it's in our hands to change the future. Canada is an amazing country and an admirable one, not only because of its landscapes, green areas or lakes, but because of the generosity and hospitality of its people. And that is something that I'm taking with me and I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. At this point, I think that some of us would like to review the possibility of continuing our studies in this country and relocating to start a different life here. And maybe some others would like to go back to Mexico and make use of all the knowledge that we have acquired during these days. But at the end, the focal point is to become better students, better professionals and better citizens. I have always been proud of big, Mexi of big Mexican, and Mexico is my home. But now I can say that I am also very proud to have been able to spend three weeks of my life in Canada, such a rich country. And even it might sound like a very short time, to me, it felt like a home too. I have experienced some of the most exciting and unforgettable moments of my whole life. So I also would like to express my gratitude to the teachers as well, who with their patience and kindness created a wonderful atmosphere in the classroom and have taught us a lot about Canada, its history, its culture, its language, its geography, its multiculturalism, and its splendid people. I'm taking with me very good friends, very valuable learning, and unforgettable memories. So, to finalize, my deepest gratitude to all of you, my classmates, to my teachers, to this inspiring country, and of course, 
thanks to my alma mater, Onan. Thank you. Um, it's a tough act to follow. That was a really good speech by our, uh, your student colleague. So I'll try to do my best yeah. to match that. <laughs> Um, I would like, you know, I'd like to say that I'm up here to congratulate you on finishing this course and to comment on a successful and enjoyable program. Uh, the opportunity to speak here today is particularly special for me uh, because this was my first teaching position after being a student teacher here at UNAM in the January session where they trained me for this job. So uh, I'm very pleased to be the one that is speaking to you today. Uh, so perhaps my, uh, my time here is best used to offer my perspective as a new set of eyes on the program. Uh, and it was an extremely encouraging introduction into the English teaching profession. It really was. It's encouraging uh, to see such a professionally run program, uh, thanks to the administrative team that has worked so, so very hard uh, to bring this wonderful program to the students to support us teachers in delivering it to them. Um, and a program that's not just about language learning, uh, but one, as your student colleague said, that's about personal development as well, and cultural sharing. It's also encouraging to meet such experienced uh, and supportive colleagues as the morning group, uh, seeing them in the print room every morning where we say hello, share updates on how things are going, and offer a few words of encouragement and advice to each other. It's not always nice to see. It's encouraging to meet such good students, and that these students are not just good students, but also good people. I don't think the students know this, but uh, it is probably as much of a pleasure for us teachers to be here as it is for you students. Um, it's a pleasure to teach here because uh, your energy your participation, your passion, your kindness uh, to us and to each other is really, uh, like I said, encouraging. It refills our batteries as teachers, I think, and reminds us why we do what we do here. Uh, thanks to my students, I have tried a microwave tamal in a package. I have enjoyed the joy of seeing a mini Mexican birthday celebration far from home. I have uh, heard reggaeton and forever. Uh, I have learned about the wonderful, uh, the wonderful food that comes from Oaxaca. I have been asked many times when I will be visiting Mexico, of course. And I think that it's so great to see these students are as eager to share their own culture and be proud of their culture as they are to learn another. I think that's really great. Um, we have seen you develop these students, especially some of you from the deer in the headlights on the first day, <laughs> eyes wide open, trying to take everything in, to you know some seasoned travelers who are confident that they can go anywhere and overcome their language barrier, have fun and explore. It's very encouraging. And not to try to slip a mini lesson uh, into this speech or anything, but one very suitable adjective that I have found to describe the Mexican students here and staff, and of course the Mexican people, is warmth. Definitely warmth. Very good word. <laughs> it is encouraging to know that uh, what we are doing here is much more than just teaching a language. I don't think it sounds too grand to say, uh, but I think what we're doing here is promoting a better world for our future. Uh, federal and international policies seem to ebb and flow from year to year, uh, but what we are doing here is building a lasting relationship between two nations through open minds and open hearts of individuals like ourselves. Uh, I think what we're doing is building mutual understanding between people. And I think that's something we could use a little bit more of in our world today. The, polit the politics of the day may change, but uh, you know sometimes they may be against what we hope to accomplish, but we will still be here working and sharing. It's very good. Thank you again to all of the staff, thank you again to all of the students, and a big congratulations on your accomplishments. Thanks. Bonjour. Uh, ici, Lena Pugson, qui on a encore votre troisième année de dans le cours, mais il y a d'autres qui maintenant doivent retourner. 
El resto del discurso va a ser en español porque lo pronuncio mucho mejor que el francés. No y bueno, pues sí, hoy muchos nos vamos a despedir del verano Puma. Y aunque sabemos que la UNAM no es perfecta, de verdad no me termina de asombrar las oportunidades que nos da y es lo que me recuerda porque es nuestra máxima casa de estudios y no, no me está pagando por dar este mensaje. Así que, sí, la verdad, al menos yo no tenía idea de cómo era Canadá antes de venir, más que esta imagen que tenía de los medios de que era básicamente el país perfecto. Y tres semanas después, a excepción del transporte que tarda media hora en pasar cada camión, que sigo teniendo la misma opinión, aunque por supuesto, como ya creo que hemos mencionado algunas veces en las clases, eh, sí se extraña un poco el caos de México. Y pues, a los que se van a quedar todavía pues les quiero pedir personalmente que lo aprovechen mucho porque como alguien que se ya se tiene que ir la próxima semana, de verdad, tres semanas no bastan y si pudiera cambiar mi programa para quedarme las otras tres semanas lo haría, pero pues las aerolíneas son muy caras, así que aprovechenlo mucho, disfruten Canadá porque creo que al menos, creo que estoy hablando por todos cuando digo que de verdad han sido unas tres semanas maravillosas con el aire más puro que hemos respirado, sobre todo después de la contingencia de la CDMX. Sí. Así que muchas gracias a los maestros, a los administrativos, a la gente que estuvo ayudando aquí y pues por supuesto a todos los alumnos que creo que hemos hecho un, construido un buen ambiente aquí. Así que felicidades a todos los graduantes y... Disfruten sus vacaciones de verano. Es que vous êtes capable de, de m'entendre, ça va. Hein? Ok, je vais essayer de ne pas crier comme ce que je fais en classe des fois. Donc voilà. Bonjour tout le monde. Tout d'abord, félicitations vraiment d'avoir participé dans ce programme d'immersion. Aller loin de son pays pour apprendre une nouvelle langue prend énormément de courage. Quand on est dans un pays étranger, je trouve que même acheter des croustilles dans un département ou acheter de la bière à la sacrée, ça devient une chose difficile, ça, ça, ça demande beaucoup de vulnérabilité. Mais malgré, malgré, cette, malgré ce côté vulnérable qui est inhérent au processus d'immersion, à travers votre participation, en participant à ce programme, je trouve que vous avez fait preuve d'une ouverture d'esprit et d'une ouverture envers l'autre. Et malheureusement, ce sont des choses qui se font rares dans, dans, dans notre monde où l'on est de plus en plus fermé sur soi-même, malheureusement. Donc, ce que vous avez fait, je trouve ça extraordinaire. Je suis fière de vous, euh, puisque vous avez poser justement ce, ce magnifique séjour. J'espère que vous êtes sorti grandi de cette expérience et que vous en garderez un très bon souvenir. Donc, euh, ahora pronunciaré algunas palabras en español. Sin duda, déformaré su idioma, pero, pero el objetivo, como siempre digo, uh, es que nos entendamos mutuamente. De todas formas, algunos de ustedes también deformaron el francés <risa> en mis clases. Don, don, don. Me encantó compartir con ustedes mi amor por el francés. Me encantaron las discusiones que tuvimos y las actividades que hicimos juntos. Espero que hayan disfrutado su estancia tanto como a mí. Me ha gustado. Así, felicitación. Thank you everyone who made this possible. Employers, teachers, and to the university community in general. Uh, when I heard about the possibility to study and learn English in Canada, I had no doubt uh, about coming and decided to come here with my friends. And I think that was the best decision. To learn English, Uh, with Verano Puma program, isn't just speaking another language. Verano Puma for me is a wish opportunity to know more about this wonderful country, meet new people, meet new, oh, sorry, <laughs> meet new friends, and know about new culture, lifestyle, education, economy, history, and traditions. Just to mention a few aspects. Sorry. 
Canada is a great opportunity because it's easier to connect to the society thanks to the fact that Canada is a multicultural country and people are friendly and easy going. That's why we can develop our speaking skills. Um, in Canada, every place tells you a little of its story through the architecture, castles, and monuments that are present in each spot of the different cities. If you want to learn about this beautiful country, you only have to walk around to the city, or if you can, drive in on the roads and see its wonderful landscapes. The, ecologi <coughs> Sorry. the ecological variety is amazing. I fell in love with the animals, vegetation, forests, and lakes. Canadians set a good example concerning the conservation and care of their natural resources. This is important because it is a heritage that we can leave to the new generations. As a Mexican staying in another country and comparing the economy, education, politics, and overall the society, I was able to have a different vision of Mexico. And I hope we call it in the future. Being here, I'm not sure if, if now I, I, know, I know more about Canada or Mexico. <laughs> and I say this because being away from home, you realize how lucky and wonderful it is to be Mexican. At this point, I would like to return to the issue about the multiculturalism because by being in contact with other people, you, you learn something new from everyone, new ideas, other ways of the thinking, uh, being respectful about it. We may, we may have different physical characteristics, <laughs> but as humans, and especially as university students, we should to try to make a positive change in the society, and in general, the world. Personally, this experience helped me to make away my fears and dare to different things. I discovered that every day is a new opportunity to learn something new, and I have more experiences that help our development, personal and professional growth. Actually, every time that you learn a new language, you get a key to other parts of the world. I want to thank to the university for this wonderful moment with sincere gratitude for all that UNAM has done for me and everyone. And it's, it's much appreciated and always I'm proud of my blue heart and my gold skin. And always, for me, Rosa Blaren Espíritu y como no te voy a querer mi amado universidad. on behalf of the teachers, I just seized the opportunity. I was like, oh my God, I was overconfident. Like, I have so many things to say, it will be easy like a piece of cake. <laughs> but it wasn't, because I just do have too many things to say to you guys. But I'm sure we are not gathered here to listen to me talk for hours, right? <laughs> um, but um, although I can't take all of your times, I must say a few things. First of all, you, you know, um, Puma students are a constant source of energy to us teachers. Um, you must think, oh, it's a lot of hard work. It is hard work. Teaching is, like any other profession. But we get so much energy from you guys. I don't feel drained right now. I feel hyper. You can see I'm like, <laughs> right? That's because we enjoy the energy that you feed us. It's a two-way process, right? Um, a few things I must mention. Um, uh, my colleagues at UNAM Canada, on behalf of, of the teachers, I'd like to take the privilege to thank Vanessa Reyes and yeah. Veronica Lumley and all the other staff who really work hard, not only for three weeks like us, but throughout the year to make it possible, right? So can we have a round of applause? your 
arrival. Like these beautiful smiling faces. We wait the whole year for you to come and it takes preparation, but it's very exciting. <laughs> and um, when it comes to this time, when it's time to say till we meet again, it's always very overwhelming. It's a sad, happy moment, right? Um, but a few things that I must remind you. You came here with a reason, which makes me feel so proud of you, although I'm not your parent but or your sibling, but I feel very proud of you because you took this linguistic immersion challenge and you made a difference with a very short period of time. It's like short phase of time, but huge impact, right? That's what we are talking about here. And that's what you proved. So I'm really proud of you. You are used, you have proven that you can interview a local, you can teach your peers in English, you can give presentations. But one thing I want to add, when you're gossiping, try it in English. My <laughs> students who had classes with me, I told them repeatedly, because you have a tendency to chit chat and switch to uh, Spanish every now and then. Try to chit chat and share your secret with your friend in English. And I, I swear, just trust me, you will notice the difference you have in your proficiency, in your eloquency, in your fluency of English when you're sharing personal details as well. I'm not saying go home and start gossiping, start a gossip, like, uh, like start gossiping about everyone. Chit chat, try to converse in English. Things outside work, informal even. Try to practice. That's the only thing we ask of you. We tried our best to um, provide as much as possible lessons, interactions during this short period of time. But the rest is up to you. And I'm confident that you will keep making us proud. Thank you so much for being here. We have a little key. And that little key opens up a vault. And what you take out, you also replenish. So our vault is always full. So you take a little of us, but you also leave a little of yourselves. And with that, we will always be so grateful. Um, each and every time I have a class, each and every time I'm asked to come back, I know that my vault is never going to be empty because what is taken is always replenished. And for that, I would like to thank you very much. Thank you. And it's always a pleasure every single day that I teach anything, the slightest thing, it's always a pleasure. Yeah. And uh, today, or oh, this year is no difference, or June is no difference. It was an absolute pleasure to teach every single one of you. And I'm so, so happy to have uh, so many amazing students, students that are so dedicated, so committed, and so keen to learn. That is a real pleasure. Thank you very much. It was very um, different for me also to teach that many Canadian uh, Maxim students at the same time. You know, I had uh, four different sections, and uh, with all of you, uh, after this program, I'm going to remember Mexico as very good people, amazing people. Thank you very much for representing your country the best way with your motivation and effort. And yeah, you're, you're amazing people. Thank you very much. And when you go back, please remember here as with the best memories, forget about the negative, I'm sure they will be negative. <laughs> All the things at the end, and yeah, and goodbye, and thank you. Yeah. Dice así, hoy 28 de julio de 2019. Muy estimados alumnos de la Gran Canadá de los cursos del verano Puma de 2019, muy apreciados profesores de nuestros cursos de verano, el día de hoy se ha completado el proceso de formación de los cursos de inglés y francés como segunda lengua en Canadá. Ustedes han podido ser actores, testigos y beneficiarios de una experiencia de internacionalización e interculturalidad universitaria. Ello gracias a su elección de la oferta académica de nuestra querida UNAM en esta sede. Esta institución ha abierto sus brazos, sus puertas y su conocimiento para compartir con ustedes el proceso de enseñanza-aprendizaje de los idiomas inglés y francés, las dos lenguas oficiales de este bello y hospitalario país que es Canadá, como ya bien lo dijeron Alicia García y Ann Harrison en sus mensajes. Con el trabajo de aprendizaje de idiomas como segunda o incluso tercera lengua, el cual se ha basado en una metodología enfocada por tareas con la utilización de herramientas pedagógicas de avanzada 
soportada en contenidos culturales de inversión y el uso de tecnologías de información y comunicación, ha dado lugar a que se instruya y se aplique el modelo mixto de aprendizaje de idiomas de nuestra sede. Todo lo anterior ha sido respaldado con el valioso trabajo de profesores, ciudadanos de Canadá, que provienen en algunos casos de diferentes países, pero que dominan la lengua que están enseñando y cuentan con las competencias pedagógicas necesarias para la enseñanza de la lengua que imparten. Esto es un claro reflejo del universo multicultural de las personas que habitan y viven en Canadá. Ustedes han completado el privilegio de estudiar una lengua en el país y en el ambiente propio del idioma que eligieron, con una visión muy especial de nuestro tiempo, el multiculturalismo. De ahí la importancia de este esfuerzo de internacionalización e interculturalidad que nos permite completar una experiencia de movilidad estudiantil universitaria. Le da así una proyección y liderazgo a la UNAM en el ámbito nacional e internacional y, consecuentemente, amplía los horizontes mediante el conocimiento de otras culturas, contribuyendo así al desarrollo de la propia. Es decir, conocer un país diferente y saber qué significa Canadá es una aproximación de estudio de sus lenguas es también acercarse a la interculturalidad y a la adquisición de competencias de un nuevo idioma para avanzar en el desarrollo personal y profesional. Con esta experiencia, ahora podemos plantearnos y enfrentar problemas que no imaginábamos antes o que no nos los planteamos como ahora lo hacemos. Como universitarios y miembros de las instituciones de estudios superiores e intermedios de México y Latinoamérica, ahora tenemos la oportunidad de ser más críticos y participativos con los asuntos políticos, sociales, económicos y culturales de la vida canadiense y de la sociedad mexicana, así como de otros países. En esta experiencia, ustedes han podido interiorizarse con la oferta académica de muchas universidades de Canadá, como por ejemplo, The House of Commons, o The Cumberland Villas, Parque Omega, los museos como Bytown, el de Historia, la Galería de Arte, así como también han podido observar los 50 años del Acta Constitutiva del Bilingüismo en Canadá, incluidas otras muchas actividades en la sede, así como sus vivencias en las calles, en las tiendas y parques de este país. Ahora ustedes pueden hacer concordancias y diferencias de su país de origen con Canadá. Esta vivencia ahora no solo tiene una expresión teórica, sino que contiene actividades prácticas de la vida cotidiana entre nuestros países, nuestras ciudades y el mismo Canadá. Nada menos, la exposición sobre Ottawa que está rodeándonos ahora, nos permite ahora tener un mejor entendimiento, una mejor manera de pensar, una empatía, una comparación. Se puede entender mejor así el valor de la paz y los valores de nuestros países. Se puede ver a través de la mirada de los niños de las mujeres, de los granjeros, de los migrantes y muy especialmente de los excombatientes, el valor de la vida humana y el valor del desarrollo de los ciudadanos. Los idiomas son un gran espejo en donde se pueden ver los pensamientos y las ideas de otra manera y con otros contrastes. La tolerancia, la migración, los derechos humanos, la, universidad, no, la universalidad, la inclusión, la seguridad individual y colectiva, y sobre todo el respeto, son argumentos de civismo e internacionalización que nos deben ayudar a pensar como universitarios en las nuevas soluciones a los problemas que enfrentamos. Recordemos que la UNAM es un proyecto de liberación social de alto valor ciudadano, en el que se procura el cierre de brechas entre las disparidades sociales, las inequidades y las diferencias de conocimiento para poder tener una vida mejor. Raza, lengua, cultura, clase social, son, entre otros, ámbitos donde la convivencia debe marcar nuevos retos de comprensión de nuestras sociedades. Las charlas culturales y los viajes a los sitios turísticos y emblemáticos, junto con las exposiciones temporales y permanentes que han podido apreciar en nuestra sede, son para ustedes ahora un vivo ejemplo de convivencia, estudio y preservación de los valores humanos. Por ello, debemos demostrar aquí y a donde nos encontremos los principios fundamentales de ciudadanía e inclusión, respeto a la identidad cultural de los pueblos, 
igualdad ante la ley y reconocimiento al derecho a la diferencia. Este es el inicio de una muy buena probada de una vida de estudio e internacionalizar, internacionalización que ustedes se merecen, que ahora tienen por delante, y tal como se ha dicho en la sesión de inauguración, y que ahora en esta clausura confirmamos. Para los de la primera vez y para los que ya regresan a sus lugares de origen, ahora el terreno se ve más fácil o menos complicado de lo que parecía al principio, ya que una de las barreras que tenemos al comienzo de este tipo de experiencias es el miedo para hablar y comunicar en un ambiente de inmersión, es decir, un ambiente en el que todas nuestras necesidades elementales o emergentes se puedan plantear y puedan resolverse con el uso de otro idioma. Para los que se quedan, les invitamos a que continúen con un comportamiento ejemplar y que redoblen esfuerzos para que se sigan comunicando en el nuevo idioma que han elegido y ensayado, buscando nuevas opciones para practicarlos. Para los que se van, la verdad es que los vamos a extrañar. Pero esperamos que no sea por mucho tiempo y que puedan regresar para el próximo invierno y puedan observar aquí que, en esencia, hay dos países, prácticamente dos países el país verde y multicolor, multicolor del verano y el otoño, y el país intensamente blanco del invierno y el principio de la primavera. Los invitamos a que regresen pronto a seguir aprendiendo idiomas y a que les digan y nos recomienden con otras personas sobre el resultado de esta gran experiencia que han tenido en este Puma de verano 2019, en este bello Canadá con este tipo de profesores que nos dan muestra de gran civilidad. Muchas gracias, profesores, por su trabajo.